Hey guys, so what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at um, the NASCAR Celtic Series 2022, the next gen test car die wave 1 die cast. Yay! Okay, let's make it quick. I am not in an extremely good mood, and when I saw this, I know this is like really since July, but I don't give a rest. As the comment section, shut the hell up, alright? I am not in a good mood. Long story short is, this wave is, is a 50-50 okay, but also, what the actual hell. Alright, so, when I actually saw this on uh, Lionel's uh, YouTube channel, I was surprised about it because we finally got the next-gen test car out of the mix. Five of them are new, but it's that the other five are just straight re-releases, which I will get on with it. Right about now. The re releases are Austin Dillon, Ricky Stanhart Jr., Henrik Motorsport, Test Car Number 5, Cole uh, Crusher, Stuart Haas Racing, and Daniel Suarez Trackhouse Racing. So these five right here are re releasing of these from Wave 2, which is this, 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 this. Yeah, that pretty much I said. So these five right here. Pretty disappointed. And now we can get it on with the half of it. Because there's 10 cars. And yeah, there's 10, car 10 cars out of the mix. So let's begin with the juiciest of the rest of the five. Because these guys, they're just some re-releasing cars. It's like broccolis covered in melted cheese. And everybody hates fucking broccolis. I know there's some people who loves it. Why am I even talking about food? Like, what what is wrong with me? Alright, anyways. So the first one we have is the Chris Bosinger Fessional Test Car. Now this one comes with a training card. All these cars right here comes with a training card. So yes. So the color scheme of this one is white and blue. Hence the black stripes on it. Looks great. There's nothing much of it about it to say. This is okay die cast because I have the number 17 on it. So that's pretty good. Next up is the Chevrolet Camaro Next Gen Venable. All that has the same name, so I'm not, not gonna say it. But the Camaro one looks great. You can see DC had the CL1 logo right there with the Chevrolet Chevrolet logo right here, looking so cool as hell. Silver with the hints of black. A little bit of light trim with the gold right here looks great. Ford Mustang on the other hand looks good. The different shade of blue right here. The light blue and the dark blue right here looking good. And of course, the old classic Ford logo. Pretty awesome. And I love the tire rims are blue. Toyota Camry next gen looking great. White with red with black stripe and red on the back right here on the side. Looks amazingly well. And I think this one has like the NASCAR logo all the way in the back. But we'll see when it gets released. And lastly but not least, the William Byron Alexia test car. Now this one is just using the new tires comparing to the old one like the one I have in my collection. So I may well get it also be do a comparison. So yes. So what do you guys think about this wave? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? To me, I like it, but mostly the other half I hate it because they've recently seen the same five fucking cars that we already know. So what the hell, Lionel? I think the one I'm going to try to get is the Ford Mustang and trying to get the other five and that pretty much that's it. The other five right here in the bottom, I'm not going to get it, so don't even ask me in the comments. If the back of the car is a bit different, alright, I'll try to get them, but just only for the card, not for the die cast. Because I already have the die, because I'll get the die cast, I just want the card only. So anyways you guys, I'm going to I'm gonna end this right here, so have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.